Hey guys. All right. We are going to finish up week three of social studies. We've already talked about Mississippi and mound builders. We've talked about their um, burial customs and we have talked about some of the other tribes that came along after them. So now we're going to talk about some of the other tools that they used in these tribes. First off, there was basket makers. Basket makers, um, the, their basketry skills were very important from 6,000 BC to 4,000 BC. So that's a span of 2,000 years. The These um, basket makers used their skills to make duck decoys made out of reeds. Um, though, so they would weave them in and out. They would use the grass reeds and weave them in and out just like they would a basket to make duck decoys for hunting. And then they also made nets to catch fish and birds by using the same technique, using those grass reeds to make nets for fishing and for birds to help catch their food. So that's kind of neat. Um, then there was the atlatl. Say that with me. Atlatl. I know it's a weird word, but what the atlatl was, if you look in this picture back here, this is the atlatl. The atlatl was a tool that helped throw the spear. So instead of just holding the spear and throwing it like this, you could put it in the atlatl and use the atlatl to get more leverage and it would go further. So the atlatl was the tool used for throwing spears. It made it, um, the spear throwing was stronger and it made it a lot easier to hit the target. So you were able to be a lot more accurate. They were able to kill a lot more deer with the help of the atlatl. And scientists believe that the atlatl, atlatl, that's such a silly word, the atlatl was actually used on every single continent except for Antarctica. So that's pretty cool too. It wasn't just North America. It was everywhere in the world except for in Antarctica. Then there was the bow and arrow, and this is going to finish up our week three PowerPoints. The bow and arrow was used for hunting prey. Um, some of you might be familiar with it because maybe you go bow hunting now. The bow and arrow is still used now for hunting. It went a further distance than the spears did with the atlatl. So the atlatl throwing the spear was very effective. However, once the bow and arrow came along, you were able to get more tension behind that bow or in the bow to shoot that arrow a further distance. Um, and so it actually became the better tool for hunting. Um, that is going to wrap up our week three. Please make sure that you are doing your assignments throughout the week. If you missed one, please make sure you go back. Also, do not forget these PowerPoint videos when you go to take your quiz on Friday. Remember, you can open up the PowerPoints in one screen and then you can take the quiz in the other screen. So make sure you're using your resources because if you were in class, we would use our newspaper as a resource, right? So it's not cheating. It's using your resources and I'm telling you, you can do it. Okay. All right, guys, y'all have been so awesome. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the pre-Columbian natives that were in Alabama and I will see you next week.